Hey guys, quick video showing you how I made this um, portable speaker a while back um, and uh, made my own um, high and low pass filters. Well, I didn't make the high pass one, but the low pass one I did and it worked okay. So basically all it is is a piece of steel tubing with a whole bunch of doorbell wire wrapped around it and um, whether it was my untrained ear or, or not, I don't know, but it did seem to work. For the high pass filters uh, you have to be careful what kind of capacity you choose. So the typical ones you find inside most electronics are polarised, they've got the white stripe on the side and you shouldn't use one of those because they will uh, pop or explode I think if you use those. Uh, so this is one out of a speaker um, and it's uh, bipolar and that works very nicely and uh, while I was looking around uh, for capacitors I did come across uh, this other one here which is out of a uh, camera battery charger which I dismantled and that one's no good it's got a stripe on the side so you can't use that for a high pass filter um, they're not very common actually the bipolar ones um, and I did actually get the one I found out of another speaker so there you go this is a quick view of the back of the portable speaker with the various battery mount switches and RCA inputs. Um, this is a view of the low pass filter I made which I just uh, glue, hot glue to the inside of the box. And um, as you can see in this next photo there is all the sort of bird's nest of wires connecting everything together. There should be a picture in a minute coming up of um, the uh, like a proper induction coil, which is what you would typically use for a low pass filter. I, um, the reason it's called low pass is because it lets the low frequencies pass. So you don't want high frequencies going into your big base cones. So you use a uh, coiled inductor like the one shown here. That's a proper one out of a speaker. It's the copper coloured thing in the top of the picture. So that's what they really look like. It's like a solid uh, cast iron core wrapped with lots and lots of enamelled copper wire. And you can see them both there. So in listening there was very little difference between the quality of the sounds of the speakers. And I would say that the homemade one on the right did work quite well. So give it a go. Thanks very much. Cheerio. Bye.